Harry, Mr. Energia uh, is a horse who uh, certainly got the job done last time in, in good style on the all weather. The blinkers went on and he was much improved. Yeah, that's right. I thought he was um, promising to run well at the end of last season and um, yeah, managed to kick off really nicely and um, run them down. He had a bit of authority, didn't he, at the line? I mean, once you sort of, typical on those all weather races, you know, you sort of have to get stuck into them a little bit, don't you? And then, but once he found top gear, he, he ran home well. Yeah, that's right. I mean, naturally, those races are always going to slightly flatter a horse that's finishing with a wet sail. But um, yeah, he came through the post really nicely, and um, the step up to 14 is certainly going to help. Step up to 14, indeed. Um, what about returning to the turf? Are you confident with that? Yeah, he's a good mover and he goes well on the turf. Um, it's nice to know that we've got the versatility of uh, both surfaces, but the turf is certainly no downside. On what we've seen on paper and on form, I guess, are we, are we just thinking, reading between the lines, that the blinkers have had that desired effect? Clearly, they, they worked very well first time. What about second time? No reason why they shouldn't do the same thing again. Um, I wouldn't put it all down to the blinkers. Um, as I said, he was giving me a nice feel at the end of last season and, and running on through the line. So... I knew there was more to come with him and um, yeah, perhaps those blinkers just got another 10% out of him. So hopefully they'll do the same again. And just finally, with all due respect to his rivals, it looks as if David's found what could be a very winnable race here. I think so. Yeah, it's come at the right time, a couple of weeks after his, his win. And um, yeah, it's not the deepest of fields. So hopefully he can uh, put up another big performance. Zach, bottom up together, is uh, a mightily exciting horse. We're all certainly looking forward to seeing him back on track, and I imagine you also will be looking forward to getting back on him under race conditions. Yeah, uh, he's done everything we've asked of him so far, and he's progressed um, with each run. He's now had the chance to have a bit of a break, which physically uh, is going to do him the world of good. He was always a little bit of a narrow-bodied uh, and lightly framed horse, but it just gives him a little bit of a chance to try and have a breather and develop a little bit. His Achilles heel is he just wants to get on with it a bit too much. He wants to run through the bridle, so he needs to learn to be a bit more of a racehorse if he can. Uh, it's not going to help drawing out where we have drawn. Um, so he's, he's going to show some speed. And it's just a matter of trying to harness it as much as I can and hopefully he can get the job done. You mentioned, obviously, the fact he is perhaps that little bit headstrong. I mean, it was quite evident last time. I mean, you went forward, at, I guess, ultimately, he was the best horse in the race. It looked as if you bossed it. But has he still got plenty to sort of mature and, and plenty to learn about the game? He does, yeah. He's obviously got the natural ability there, but that only takes you so far. You, you need to start to uh, do things correctly if you want to continue to take those steps. And he needs to show us he's going to do that. You've had plenty to do with the horse, of course, on race day and also trials. He's had a, a couple of them. Um, have you been happy with the trials so far? It's been trialling well, yeah. He's been going good um, without being put under too much pressure. So it'll be good to have him back at the races. And, you know, this is just start of his, the start of his preparation this season. He's not fully wound up, but, um, you know, I think he's forward enough to handle, uh, handle himself well enough in the race. And, you know, he's obviously going to improve with the, with the adding. Uh, you're more than welcome to bat it back to me if you want to, but I know Frankie Law's gone on record as saying he might be sort of a horse for the, the four-year-old mile. I know it's very early days, but do you think he's a horse that sort of would get that trip in time? I know the four brother who you won on, Beauty Live, certainly did. No, he's not going to get it if he continues to race in the manner he's racing in. He needs to uh, relax, and um, that's going to be his challenge. But, uh, you know, it's every horse that four year, that's four-year-old at the moment is heading towards a classic mile, so... You know, that's just uh, it's the reality of the place we're in and they're not all going to make it, but uh, they'll all get their chance and we'll see who works out uh, to be the best one. Just one final question, Zach. Um, down at the bottom, super fortune in the race is Pace. I know your fellow led last time, but if he was to go pretty quick, would you be happy just to let him go? If I can let him go, I will. It's just a matter of trying to harness uh, my guy's enthusiasm, but um, super fortune is probably not as quick as he used to be, but um, if he gets out and he gets rolling, we'll, we'll work that out. Andrea Harold Wynn uh, looks uh, a winner waiting to happen, hopefully. That run last time on seasonal return was, was really good. You must have been pleased with the effort. Oh, it was definitely a good comeback run. Um, his work going into was quite nice. And, uh, yeah, no, he, he didn't do anything wrong. We had a good pitch and uh, followed the winner through. And uh, actually turned into the straight. I thought I was going to go and pick, pick the winner up. But, uh, uh, like I said, the winner, he was, I think he was down in grade. And... Uh, Every time I got to me, kept finding, but uh, take nothing away from my horse. He ran a solid race and 
and there's a very good chance he's, uh, well, he has improved from it. Uh, Saturday two days ago, it seems that he's come by the race very well. He's only had the five runs. I mean, early on, he just looks a little bit raw still, didn't he? And obviously, he's, he's quite a substantial type of horse, but Penny seems to be dropping with him now and sort of becoming a bit more the finished article. Correct, yeah. It took a bit of time for him to, for the Penny to, I don't think the Penny has quite dropped yet. Uh, I think hopefully on, sun, on uh, tomorrow on Saturday, he should, like he's getting there. It took a quite a bit, bit, few runs for him to, to understand the game, but uh, no, the more racing, the better, and uh, it's, it's, he deserves to win one now. He looks uh, looks like a nice horse. He kept on really well, didn't he? Um, the first three in that race, obviously yourself included, were a nice way clear. The fourth master mastermind has won since, so form looks good. The form looks good, and like I said, the first three horses are decent. Horse also finished behind me to look like um, a horse that uh, it's 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 ready to win eventually. So and it was good form, and like I said, they pulled well clear from the fourth. Frankie Voyage Samurai is a runner for you on uh, the weekend's card. Lines up in race number nine. A lightly raced five-year-old, but uh, on what he has done, he's, he's done a really good job, hasn't he? Yeah, last season, uh, five start, three win, two seconds. It's, it's good. Yeah, really good, yeah. Uh, and just recently, you've given him a trial. The trial looked good. He, he won that trial at Sha Tin. He, he looks to have progressed well. Yeah, uh, I gave him two trials, one in Chongfa, one in Sha Tin. He trialed good, and uh, so that... So why I just put him for the race, yeah. Uh, just an overall sort of assessment of that form, Frankie. I mean, he, he was progressing so well throughout the course of the season. And once you got him up to, to the mile, he, he probably looked better than ever on what we've seen. I mean, that last win was, was quite authoritative. Yeah, he, he, he looked like a, a big horse and a uh, big stripe. I think uh, he, he usually is just a, a little bit uh, uh, one pace. So I think 16, maybe later on, can go up to 18. I think so, yeah. You mentioned the pace angle. I mean, sort of, I had him labelled as perhaps a potential leader, but you've got Fran Tank in there as well, so it probably just makes things a little bit complicated for your guy. Of course, that horse put ten pounds uh, girls on. I think she will try to lead. Maybe uh, we 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 sit second. I think still okay. Yeah. I guess with a horse like yours, he, he does look quite adaptable, doesn't he? And you, and you know that he'll be seeing it out stronger than one or two others. Uh, yeah. But anyway, his first start. But uh, we tried two times for him. Uh, he looks good. To see the pace, yeah. Vincent, uh, King Miles uh, is your ride in the last race on Saturday. He's a horse who's had a, a really productive first season. It'd be great to have him back on the track, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. Uh, good potential horse and, uh, you know, the trial was very good. Uh, we're happy with him and, uh, yeah, looking forward to ride him. He should mature up more uh, t during the off-season, so... Yeah, finger cross. What did you learn or what did that trial tell you, Vincent, on the back of what was a very good first season? How has he matured sort of this horse? Yeah, I think uh, his mind has been already quite mature, of course. Uh, be, be better throughout the season. And, and the first trial, we didn't really expect much, but he uh, did more than what we expected. So we decided to raise him uh, tomorrow. Uh, if not, we'll you know, probably have one or two more trials, but he, he seems uh, coming along well, uh, so yeah, uh, good to ride him. He's form, Vincent, I mean, when he, he won his, his last race, obviously that was a, a decent looking class where he beat, uh, beat the Wanabi. I mean, it's, it's pretty good form on paper, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a lovely horse, uh, uh, well built and, and uh, easy to ride so I mean it's not a difficult horse to handle and a great potential horse so let's see how how far he can go this season uh, given his sort of uncom uncomplicated nature if you will uh, gate number 12 huh? does that put a spanner in the works at all a little bit a little bit sure and on the rail like tomorrow will be a little bit challenging but uh, you know, we expect him to run well, and that's uh, that's the most we we could ask for. Uh, we'll do our best to uh, perform, of course. Let's see, let's see how we end up. Indeed, uh, he's of course trained by by Francis Lloyd, trained he worked very closely. I must just ask you finally. Obviously, we we said a, a fond farewell to the the champion Golden Six. You know, I think from from everybody speaking for everyone, it was a very um, it was an excellent ceremony. Really, it was fantastic to see. Um, uh, how is the horse after all of that? And and, and when does he leave, etc. Uh, he's leaving on the 5th to quarantine uh, and then he will stay another two weeks uh, and fly out, of course. 
but no, we, we're happy that he he uh, hopefully enjoys uh, you know the farm or the grass uh, as much as racing. So uh, yeah, looking forward to how how he'll react, seeing all the greens out there. Uh, hopefully he you know put switches focus on somewhere else and and not racing. Uh, you know, so yeah, I, I wish him a happy life.